Africa, Mozambique's Zambezi Delta, Buffalo. Hunting in the forests of the Zambezi Delta has the character of an old-time expedition. The eternal struggle for survival is palpable here. Constant evolutionary change is ubiquitous. This calls for stability and strength and indestructible equipment. My Mauser M98 Magnum goes with me through thick and thin. It is an absolutely reliable companion and a real life insurance policy when hunting buffalo in dense bush. The area is unique and offers true adventure. Dense rainforest and mahogany sand forest are interspersed with open areas. The climate is almost tropical due to the proximity to the Indian Ocean. Countless birds and insects are at home in this habitat. There are also plenty of antelope and other game species. Red diker, sable, bushbuck, and niala are as common as reedbuck, impala, eland, suni, hartebeest, and warthog. The shooting distances in the forest are often short. Clear shots are rare, and one generally needs to fire quickly. The Caliber 416 Rigby is perfect for forest hunting. Silent stalking and proper use of the wind are crucial to the hunt, combined, of course, with a little luck. We want to find solitary mature buffalo bulls. But as an open sight hunter, I take advantage of every opportunity to stalk and pursue game. In a large open valley, we have spotted warthogs at a great distance. A large boar is among the group, and we try our luck by crawling towards them through an open area. It is a long stalk, very long, but the wind is favorable and the opportunity must be seized. In the shadow of a single bush, we are able to approach to within 65 meters. When I finally have a clear shot, the board drops immediately. A good way to start this hunting adventure. Next evening, we encounter a Niala bull. His flight reveals that he favors one of his legs, so we decide to pursue him. We follow the antelope through semi-open parkland until eventually he has had enough of us and enters into thicker forest. The Niala is obviously injured and darkness is falling fast. Poen decides to unleash his terrier, Didi. Shortly thereafter, the dog reaches the bull and barks, and we quickly approach the bait antelope. In the dense vegetation, the Niala cannot immediately see us, and when the dog moves a safe distance away, I shoot. A few seconds later, the bull is down. It was an exciting hunt with a happy ending. The bull has an abnormal set of horns and is carried out of the forest by the entire team in classic style.
We still have not found any bull buffalo. However, an opportunity arises quite unexpectedly when we encounter a lone dagaboy. The trackers, Santos and Albino, keep up with his track with ease, but the visibility is only a few meters. This turns out to be not enough, because the bull notices us as we get very close and runs off, crashing through the bush. We follow him for another two hours. However, he is too wary and moves on without stopping. Our buffalo hunting adventure continues. Early the next morning, we find extremely fresh tracks. The tracks indicate a group of three or four Daga boys. Perfect. Fresh dung shows us that we are not far behind. They have also paused to graze along the way, and we obviously gain some ground. The habitat is ideal. Fresh grass invites them to stop often, and the sparse open forest offers us good visibility. Suddenly, we notice movement ahead of us. Poen focuses intensely, but the movement turns out to be a group of sable. They notice us, and the entire herd runs off. The sable have probably alerted the buffalo of our presence. The trackers, Albino and Santos, however, remain focused and urge us to continue. We follow the tracks for another half an hour. Suddenly, there is movement ahead of us once more. Buffalo. Using the shadow of a termite mound for cover, we carefully close the distance and get into shooting position. Poen selects a good bull from the group that he instructs me to shoot. It's high time, and the shot breaks quickly. At 80 meters, the bull takes the shot to his shoulder. The other bulls run off, seemingly uncertain about what just happened. My buffalo, however, is down after only 40 meters. Go that way a little bit, we'll come. He's still breathing. A follow-up shot is made at close range for safety reasons. We have achieved our goal. Good shooting, well done. It was a longer shot. He was here, it was about 80, 90 meters, but you pulled it off very quickly. Cool.